Imagine being a bound through the vibrations in the bones of your jaw and cheeks, bypassing both the outer and middle ear. Imagine the sound waves vibrate directly through to your inner ear using your bones as a conductive current. Besides, they're not designed not to match nor outdo the capabilities of traditional headphones. They're there to give consumers a choice that's perfect for their active lifestyle. In the next few sections, we'll outline what to look out for when selecting the right pair, selecting the right pair of bone conduction headphones for you. Number 5 on the Whisper Light Bone Conduction Headphones. Headphones. The Youth Whisper headphones were positioned to be sold in the mid-range market, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're light on features, nor are they entry-level bone conduction headphones. The Youth Whisper feel comfortable and lightweight when worn. They sport a flexible and durable headband with a soft silicon patch. Sounds are decent and never sounds muddy. The 200 mAh lithium battery can achieve a full charge within 2 hours. When full, when full, playback time for music can last up to 8 hours. The standby mode can last for up to a whopping 480 hours. There's also support for fast charging. A 15-minute charge will give you about an hour of talk time. Number 4 on the Lux X trainers. Strainers. The Aftershocks are different from the other entries in this list in that it's neither wired nor supports wireless connectivity. The X trainers is actually a pair of MP3 player headphones. That may sound a bit odd for a pair of bone conduction headphones, but when you factor in that they're purposefully designed for swimming, then it all makes sense. Removing any wireless connectivity was pretty smart too. Water can interfere with Bluetooth connections after all. All. The audio quality is average at best. Music plays with enough clarity even when underwater. Number 3 on the Exero. Exero. The Zulu Exer Audio's latest efforts in the bone conduction headphones market. With their myriad of features, the Exero doesn't disappoint despite having a lower price. Their design doesn't look cheap and is built to deliver good audio. What sets the Exero apart from most bone conduction headphones is how they're designed. Most bone conduction headphones rest their transducers on the middle part of the cheekbones. But with the Exero, they rest on the upper portion of the cheekbones. Of the cheekbones. This positioning may seem odd, but there's a good reason for it. It allows the headphones to be closer to the ears. Closing the gap allows the Exero to deliver better and louder sounds. Number 2 on the Lux Open Calm. Open Calm. This is the fourth and aftershocks in this list. The aftershocks Open Calm were designed with remote and office workers in mind. It's easy to see why. The built-in microphone is best used for calls and online video conferences. The Open Calm can deliver clear vocals over the lines with little to no problems. The Open Calm are quite comfortable and designed for prolonged use. They even sport that professional look, which makes them appealing during video conference. During video conferences, the battery life can last up to eight hours. That's just enough to last through an entire day in the office. There's even a quick charge function, so you can continue using it with little waiting time. Number one on the Lux Trex Air. Rex Air. After shocks had a long time and as such, gained the distinction of being the leading brand in bone conduction headphones, that's why it's no surprise that the Aftershocks Trex Air are Aftershocks's second entry in this list, and they're definitely not going to be the last. Despite their positives, the Trex Air can only manage a runner-up position behind the Aeropex. The reason? The Aeropex are an upgrade of the Trex Air, retaining what went right with the ladder and improving the ladder and improving upon them, like having a better control scheme, better battery performance and a higher IP rating. They're also lighter than their predecessors.